In this video we share Our Lady's message to Luz de Maria for March 11, 2023. Beloved children of my heart, I invite you to adore my Divine Son in the name of all humanity. I urge you to live this Lent in a permanent effort to make them better spiritually. It is embarrassing that they wait for Lent to plan the tour of the major week to find facilities and go on vacation to the beach, continuing in lust and the overflow of sin. It is shameful that they continue to be stubborn in being worse every moment, giving themselves up to the vainglory and that selfishness that leads them to look at their brothers as less. What pride the one who floods even through the pores of the skin those children of this mother who do not admit a mistake when they have made it and those who do not know how to ask for forgiveness or admire with total transparency the virtues of their brothers. This acting and acting fills me with sadness in the face of the constant threat of those children of my divine son and this mother. Be prudent, it is necessary that the customs of the past are past and as dignified children of this mother they are renewed inside with a generous spirit. As a humanity, they don't look at the strength that evil has taken within society. You do not wish to see the outrages against my divine son at this delicate moment for all of you. My children. The time of Lent calls them to look at the acting and acting personally, not the others, but the personal. And maintaining the firm purpose of depending the sinful bad customs of the past. The elements of nature are agitated all over the planet, so the human creature will be limited when moving from one place to another, the winds will be sudden without giving any indication of the great suffering for the human creature. Dear children. The Church of my Divine Son has been reduced and it is that the confusion entered it. My children are in need of advice, guidance, sensitivity, knowledge and reflection. Children, the disease is advancing and the war may seem to be stopped for a very short time, but it comes back stronger. They make fun of the medicines they have received from the Casa Paterna. Without sanity they will roam the streets for help when the diseases appear and they do not have to fight them. Pray beloved children, pray, an unexpected news comes out of Vatican City, connoisseurs of my revelations will call their brothers to reconsider. Pray beloved children, pray, the intelligence of my children must be used to move towards good and not to go back towards evil. Pray beloved children, pray, the decline of the economy begins and Latin America suffers from a dollar in decline. Pray beloved children, pray, the moon enters eclipse, the sun enters ellipse. Look at the signs, my children, as a generation they have moved so far away from my divine son that the human creature is easily prey to everything that comes before his eyes. Dear children, the shortage begins on earth, the economy shudders from the bowels and my children fall into despair, taking their own lives when they feel that their economy is disappearing. Pay attention, children. Pay attention to the offers of new economic measures, the paper will become metal. Beloved of my heart, humanity enters into greater conflicts of all kinds. In the midst of torment, my maternal love comes to each of you to comfort you. As a mother I assure you that I will not foresee you, I will encourage you to perceive my heavenly aroma, as a consolation so that you have the certainty that I will help you. In the most difficult part of the great purification, my divine Son will adore with his love his faithful who accompany him in the holy sacrament of the altar. The Holy Spirit, comforter of human creatures, will illuminate them in a special way at the time of the Great Tribulation. Children, you will continue to be stubborn and foolish, because you will not hear or look or understand or see what you have lost by refusing the graces of the Comforter of Souls, the Holy Spirit. Children of my Divine Son. Without getting tired, continue in the midst of the tests and the daily onslaughts. Without getting tired, Continue in the midst of the joys that are not every day. Without getting tired, continue to thank God the Father for the gift of life and repair for those who end up with so many innocents who are martyred at the hands of their oppressors. Come children, let's go to my Divine Son. Increase the faith, who walk towards my Divine Son. Use the senses of the Spirit and be like the action and act of my Divine Son. As Queen and Mother of recent times, I call on you to pray for the conversion of the greatest number of souls and to be fraternal. I bless you. Mother Mary.
The following commentary comes from Luz de Maria. Brothers and sisters, the mercy of God goes from place to place leaving a trail that each human creature takes in a personal way. It is necessary to live fulfilling the works and acts to which we are called for being creatures of God. We see how our blessed mother gives us a spiritual graph about the behavior of the human creature in its daily life and how that same human creature that should go through life sowing love, instead, is empty, without love in its heart and destroys itself until it reaches world war. The agitated nature pounces on humanity causing great havoc before the culmination of the great purification. Here I share with you some messages that let us see that out of love for human creatures, God continues to speak to his children. The following comes from a message of our Lord Jesus Christ, February 24, 2016. Dear my people, when celebrating Lent in which my children are invited in a special way towards conversion, evil doubles their attack and you have to be warned so that it does not defeat you in this Lent as special as it is this one you live in. The following comes from a message of the Blessed Virgin Mary. November 7, 2009. I had already told you before about these events today, which will increase as the days go by, just as I told you about an event that will cause astonishment and affect the church, the one I love so much. This is one more reason, so that they are strengthened in the faith, so that they feed on the Eucharist, so that they walk in unity and do not stagger. The following comes from a message of our Lord Jesus Christ. February 24, 2016. Pray, my children, pray, my church is brought to those who do not love it, do not respect it, and I suffer for it. The following comes from a message of the Blessed Virgin Mary. March 13, 2016. I look with pain at the earth and the desolation makes the earth itself more arid, for the same aridity of the hearts that claim to belong to the church, but despise my son by welcoming the demon. They erect great sculptures and worship them attracting all the evil they had to discard and accelerate the arrival of the Antichrist and the great persecution of the faithful church. The following comes from a message of the Blessed Virgin Mary. July 12, 2022. Only those who remain in my son will keep their sanity in the face of what they have taken as a personal God, money. They have clung to the God of the world that they will feel lost without an economic support. Faced with the fall of the economy, they will turn to what they are offered and fall into the hands of the Antichrist. Please support my channel by watching another video. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.